boys and girls, this is Cappy Callahan saying get your paper and pencils, because it's time to draw cartoons with Frank Lamb. <laughs> Hi, boys and girls. It's nice to see you with us today, and I hope you have your pencils and paper ready, because we have two big drawing lessons for you. But first, I think we should say hello to Cappy. Hi, Cappy. Hi, Mr. Webb. Who's your Who's your feathered friend? Uh, well, Mr. Webb, I I'd sort of like you to meet, uh, you and all our friends to meet, Mrs. Linda Leghorn. Oh, how do you do, Linda? Well, how do you do, Mr. Webb? I'm so happy to meet you, I'm sure. I've heard so much about all your cartoons and all the good they do for the children, you know. And I just said to Kathy here, I said, do you suppose it would be all right if I just drop around for a moment and meet Mr. Webb and tell him how much I enjoy all his drawing? Because really, Mrs. Slaycorn is a member of the PTA, Mr. Webb. Oh, a member of the Parent Teachers Association. No, no, I'm a member of the, uh, the Poultry Talkers Association, Mr. Webb. Uh, you see, the Poultry Talkers Association controls all the poultry talkers who talk to poultry talkers who talk. Well, what do you, what do you talk about, Miss Leghorn? Uh, nothing. That's what makes it so easy to talk. Well, you sure, you sure it isn't just idle gossip? Oh, dear me, no, Mr. Webb. We wouldn't think of such a thing. But do you know, I heard. Now, um, Miss Leghorn, you're welcome to sit there and visit as long as you like, but I think we'll have to get along with our show now. Well, that's perfectly all right, Mr. Webb. Uh, you just go ahead and draw, and I'll just sit here and watch for just a moment. And then I will have to run along, because I did leave my chickens, my little children, alone in the chicken yard. Oh, well, fine. Mrs. Mrs. Leghorn, it was nice of you to drop in, and uh, you come back and see us again sometime. Well, thank you, Sonny. I certainly will. Uh, and, Mr. Webb, uh, before we have our first drawing lesson, I think we ought to say hello to our friends here in the studio who came to draw with us, don't you? I think that's a good idea, and Valerie will... Introduce him to our television audience. I'm very happy to introduce all our friends. They uh, came to us to draw today, and they have their cartoon drawing uh, pads all ready. And uh, here's Frank Webb with our first drawing lesson. Now, boys and girls, the uh, first drawing lesson today will be a little baby elephant getting prepared for the circus. See, it's the day before the circus, and the people haven't arrived yet. So this is a little baby elephant, and if you'll start right here, like this, and draw almost a letter S. See, it's a sort of a fancy letter S, like that. And be sure and use a soft pencil when you draw, because it's much easier to, to control the pencil when you use a soft one, preferably a two or three B pencil. And you can shade better with a soft pencil. Now put a little, little curved line there. This is going to be the elephant's eye. Now a, a loop over that little curved line and a, a little eyebrow up there. Now right here, see the there's a little oval and blacken it in because the elephant's sort of peeking at us out of the corner of his eye. This elephant's only two and a half years old. Now right here, so put sort of a uh, letter C there for his cheek. He like that, cute little cheek. Now right under here, about this point, the middle of the C, bring the line right around, parallel to the other line, right up where his trunk, right up to there. See, his trunk's turned up. Now, the end of his snoop, put a little curved line like that, and with a little hole in there, and darken that in. That's the elephant's trunk. Now, I'll put some little wrinkles here, while you're catching up with me, and shade his cheeks a little bit, like that. Now, right underneath this letter C, put a little U and darken that in the center for his mouth. Cute little mouth. And up here, we're going to draw his ear now. So curve a line away up like that, then in a little bit, and then out to a point, and right back, see, with a little jagged point there in his ear. 
big flop of year, and then curve it right in and out again, like that. And a little line there. Now you show part of his other ear on the right-hand side, like that, and I'll shade that a little bit. It's a happy little elephant. Now for his back, curve a line up like that, and around. One big sweeping line, and down to, down to about there. Now for the rest, you see, this is his leg here, from this part on. So double that line right to there and put another little, sort of like a C there for his big knee, and then continue his leg right on down. Now a little curved line underneath that for his big foot, see, like that. Now do the same in front. See, go out like that, two lines, and a little wrinkle right there. And a, another knee, just like you do on the back leg. And curve two lines out like that. Then his front foot, round like that. And three toenails. One, two, three big white toenails, in the same way in the back. One, two, three. Three white toenails. Now his tummy, Big fat tummy, so way down here, real low. This little baby elephant only weighs about two and a half tons. Real young yet. Got a little wrinkle there. Now, I think um, before I continue this drawing and let you boys and girls at home rest your pencils a little bit, we'll see how our guests on the show are doing. They're all drawing very, very hard over there and been following right along on this elephant. Fine little artist, too. You know, I found out that most children like to draw, and I think it's wonderful relaxation for them, too. Now we're back to our little elephant. So double this line, like that, for his front right foot, and his rear right leg, like that. I'll put some straw underneath there, grass, this field and shade him just a little bit more till I get back here now to his tail. So they have a little curved tail, almost like a little pig, except it's larger. See, like that. A little, little curve in that tail, like a knee. Now, this is a little girl elephant, so I'm going to put a little hair ribbon <coughs> on her hair <coughs> and put some polka dots in her hair, like that, in the ribbon little strands of hair. Now, you know, there's only one thing elephants are afraid of, and that's little mice. And over here underneath this bucket, if you lift up the bucket, see, there's the little mouse looking right up there at the elephant. But later on, the elephant and the mouse become very good friends. And you know, this little girl elephant, like all boys and girls, love music. And here's Valerie, our sunshine singer, to sing a pretty song for you.
You know, we have some very fine drawings of that elephant here, and I think we just ought to take a moment and show one of the two of them to you. So you sit right there, and uh, we have some very fine cartoonists, too, so we'll show you, first of all, Phil Robinson. Here's Phil. There you are, Phil, that's fine. And Bonnie? Bonnie Russell. Now, that should encourage you boys and girls at home to really try hard and draw. And you know we have a guest cartoonist with us today. His name is Tommy Turtle, and here he is. Oh, hi, Tommy. Hello, Mr. Webb. Uh, you know, Tommy, I hear that you're quite an artist. And uh, what would you like to draw for the boys and girls as a lesson today? Well, you know the old lady in the shoe? Yes, I do, Tommy. Well, she moved her shoe out to the farm, Mr. Webb, and so she could grow corn to feed all those kids. And I'm going to draw a little crow sitting on a fence post out of the letter A. Well, you go right ahead, Tommy, and, and but you better brush that um, uh, cattails out of the way first so you can draw. No, don't, no, Tommy, don't eat them. Just uh, push them out of the way, that's it. Now, here's your pencil. See, I give Tommy his... Ouch, that's my finger, Tommy. <laughs> I like to play joke. Well, you go ahead and draw there, Tommy. Now, I'll explain for Tommy as he draws. He wants you to draw a nice letter A like that. <coughs> See, Tommy can't talk with the pencil in his mouth, so I have to talk for him. Now, some crow hair, crow feathers up here in the top of his head. And then a little line there for his eye and a little oval eye in there like Tommy do for you. It's an easy way to draw a crow out of the letter A. Then at this bottom of the A, the right-hand point, bring a line right up to the center cross piece there for his little beak. Now don't draw it too fast, Tommy. Now a little mouth in there. See, a little curved line there for his smile, cheek line, and then a little line down there for his mouth and the beak. Then Short, choppy lines for the crow feathers, and a nice black tail. We blacken the tail in just like Tommy's doing. That's it. Now Tommy's going to draw a fence post there while you boys and girls are all catching up with him. Well, that's very good, Tommy. You did very well on that. Put some grass around there at the bottom. That's fine. Now, I'll take your pencil. Mr. Webb, I'd like to show the boys and girls what's inside the shoe. Okay, Tommy. Oh, I see all the boys and girls that the mother didn't know what to do with. Well, I can understand why she bought a farm and to raise corn. Well, thanks very much, Tommy. You're welcome, Mr. Webb. Gee, Cornelius, Tommy Turtle is really a good cartoonist, isn't he? Well, I don't know about the cartooning, but I'll bet he can sure carry a big load of corn in that turtle back. Boy, Cornelius, you sure like corn, don't you? Do I like corn? I like corn pone, corn fritters, corn kernels, corn corny jokes, corn cribs, and corn plasters. In fact, my favorite story is Jack and the Cornstalk. Oh, you mean Jack and the Beanstalk, don't you, Corny? It may be Jack and the Beanstalk to you, kid, but it's Jack and the Cornstalk to me. Well, why don't you say something? Well, I was sort of waiting for Mr. Webb. It's really his line, you know. Well, I was going to say, Corny, that's probably why they named you Cornelius. Yeah, that's right. They, they were going to call me a Herbert, but I said, if you're going to call me Herbert, it won't come out of my shell. So they called me Cornelius instead. Well, that's a pretty name. Uh, hey, Mr. Webb, how about doing a friend a favor? I certainly will. What is it, Corny? Would you draw me a picture of a sack of corn to hang in my nest? I'll draw you one and paint it for you so you can frame it and hang it in your nest, Corny. And speaking of pictures... Well, Corny, I was just going to say, I don't think we'll have time to show our guest pictures that have been sent into the friendly mailbox today. And uh, I think we'll have to say goodbye now and thank our guests for appearing on the show. So thanks for watching. <laughs>
boys and girls, today we're going to draw an underwater scene, and we'll start with the letter C. I'll copy the letter C the way I'm doing here. It's practically an oval. It's, it's a flattened out letter C. And add a little line there. We're drawing his, his tail. Draw slowly and carefully. And always draw with a soft pencil. Now here's his little dorsal fin. This is going to be a, a uh, baby sea bass. In fact, this baby sea bass uh, will resemble a guppy. Now this is his uh, gill on the side of his body there. Now for the little fin underneath him, little little jagged pointed lines. Now a little curved line there for his eye and a little eyebrow and a little oval black eye. And darken it in the way I've done here. And a smile with a little cheek line. It's a little happy sea bass. Now these little Tiny letter C's backwards are, are the scales of the fish. You don't have to put them all over his, his body, just to spot them around various places. And never become discouraged. Have patience and, and practice a lot. That's what it takes, is a lot of practice and patience. Now these are little air bubbles. Now if you if you haven't finished your um, sea bass, well don't draw the air bubbles. You can draw those later. And I'm going to go ahead and draw the the bottom of the sea there with the um, various things you see in the bottom of the ocean. That's a starfish. But uh, I'm doing this to give you a chance to catch up with me. And I add a little uh, water there, little water lines. See that, uh, that's a little seaweed there and various colors. This is sea grass that you see at the bottom of the ocean. For those of you who like to draw in color, some like to draw in color, or crayons, or watercolors, well, use your own imagination. I'd like you to create your own little ideas and add anything you wish to these drawings after you've drawn the main drawing of, in this case, the sea bass. And what I'm drawing down there now is a little clam. I like to shade my drawings, and you can shade your drawings too. That adds depth to the drawing and dimension. Now that finishes your drawing of the little baby sea bass. Thanks for drawing with me, and I hope I'll see you for my next lesson.